Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm going to give you a new update regarding the wiring harness because we haven't talked about that since the war in the Ukraine started and in Europe especially German car makers do have a major issue. Of course they have been managing to get an alternative uh, moving to Tunis or Morocco or Mercedes went even to Mexico to get a plan B here because the Ukrainian economy wasn't able because of the war to produce more wiring harness. But this wiring harness situation is really supporting the trend to EVs because for the EV market it is much easier, it's much shorter and there's a lot of money being pured in and Tesla is working here with Cell Link together that are building a 125 million factory in Texas. Um, they're going to build 25 production lines and these can be switched to different types of production within 10 minutes and also BMW and VW are investing here but nevertheless even though they invest right now um, they do have to still organize um, wiring harness for their gasoline cars and that is the struggle here and Tesla is leading because their goal is to just have 100 meters of cables inside the car compared to the five kilometers of a gasoline car. And for the 2019 um, Model S, they managed to do 1.5 kilometers. So this is already a decrease. And before that, they were at three kilometers. And that is what we all have seen in the past, how Tesla is leading here. So stems a lot, um, and that is very important. So then looking into a new update here, we have as well the automatic closing of windows um, based on the car sensing that it is raining which is also a very nice update because um, a lot of people are having their windows open not um, their to whole window open but just like a bit but then when a shower comes or if it's raining um, and you are somewhere and you don't have the ability to close the window it is a good move to get an update that the car is um, getting a sense if it's raining or not and is closed the windows even if the car is shut down or if the car is not in use. Then we have the update for the shipments. The Glovi Splendor are moving to Slovenia, the Teben being on the way to the Suez Canal, the RCC Europe um, passed by Sri Lanka. So these two ships, Teben and RCC Europe, should be getting VIN numbers to customers very soon. Furthermore, based on the 1st of June, we know that Shanghai's government has just announced that the city's lockdown will be fully lifted from midnight tomorrow. So this is going to happen soon as well. So that is also very good news for the production in China. And as we know, Tesla is moving very quickly here. They have increased the production. Um, there's no issues with sub suppliers actually anymore. This was also something um, which wasn't really, um, yeah, we weren't sure about if that would happen. I think the last um, result of the lockdown might be the cargo shipping, um, that there might be some issues out there. Then um, we have uh, Donny Yaw, who shared his experience selling a Model 3 in early 2019 version, and, and within three days received so many requests that he sold his Model 3 from 2019 with $7,000 more than he was actually paying in 2019 now preparing to buy a Model Y. So demand is crazy, that's what he says, and this is a true, it's a true story, and um, it's just crazy how times are changing here, and you still can sell a Model 3 from 2019 for more what you bought it. So that is the reason why you shouldn't wait to buy a Tesla car. Then looking into a Model S, which is actually doing a very, very good work here, um, it's just showing a battery degradation um, of under 10%. And this one here, the Model S 100D, has been going for 400,000 kilometers. It was used as a Uber driver and it was, until it was at 150,000. It was used um, as a taxi right now, 22 hours a day. And um, of course, it is being charged three to five days, uh, three to five times a day. So again, guys, this is crazy. I mean, this is some crazy good um, battery degradation after 400,000 kilometers. 
because I think we haven't seen anything like that. And I think the batteries will get even better in the future. So I, we can expect the results to even increase and um, even be more efficient in the future with future models like the Model S Plaid um, once people reach these milestones. So again, guys, I do really like that. Then looking into Germany, we have boys and girls and there was a um, possibility to say three future employers and choose one. And a lot of people chose Tesla, to be honest here. You see that pretty much on the third spot here. Then afterwards, Porsche, Mercedes. Um, and then we have, for example, no VW showing on this list. Um, just important for the girls, um, Tesla was at the 10th spot, so not as high as for the boys. And it's a really important topic because in Germany, but as well in G Europe in general, um, because of demographics, we do have a um, lack of young people. And we see that every day in our economy. So we do need um, invest a lot of money into um, convincing young people to work for Tesla or in general um, companies do have to convince um, young people. And this is um, a lot of money they have to invest to do so. Um, another topic is as well um, migration um, to get new people to Germany. Then looking into the Wall Street Journal talking so much bullshit you cannot even um, name all of it. Um, they were saying that 138 LBS of lithium per EV which is just not true. Um, lithium only accounts for roughly 1.5% of the fully uh, full battery pack weight. Additionally, iron phosphate battery packs contain no cobalt and nickel. So again, an entire um, article not even researching properly what's going on, what's actually inside the car, what's actually um, a battery made of. And so this is the kind of news that is uh, pretty frustrating when you're an EV fan and an EV supporter because newspapers do try to um, yeah, misinform here people about EVs. So what can we say? It is, um, it is sad, but again, um, uh, we have to stay strong. Then in Germany, we have more and more service centers, by the way, opening one in Magdeburg right now. And we see that Tesla is investing a lot of money to open um, new service centers in and that is the fun part in old buildings where other car makers were inside. Tesla is moving forward to invest money and do that. So um, again, guys, you see a lot of movement happening, a lot of stuff, especially when it comes to the wiring harness. Tesla is really leading here its way, which is not a big surprise, but just a very nice update. So thank you very much for being here today. I wish you a wonderful day.